and dance forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, ever, forever, ever, forever, forever, ever, ever, dance floor. It's on my way down. Hi, how are you? My name is Makasi, and today we are trying to catch up on the video where I made about my pickups. So I gotta review them fast so I can put out more, so I can put out other videos, you know? I have a lot of content just waiting to be edited, waiting to be shot, I have a lot of scripts ready. I just, let's get into it. So today, today we are gonna be talking about turtlenecks, specifically this particular turtleneck by J.W. Anderson. So, um, I love turtlenecks. I have about like at least 10. I have two from Peter Doe. I have this one from J.W. Anderson, which we will be looking at today. I have a couple of vintage where it's wool. I have this red one that I love. I'll put a photo up. I think, I think turtlenecks are great for winter because um, they keep you insulated, you know, because the wind can really get into your body through the neck area. So like if you keep your neck insulated, your whole body's gonna be warm. And you know, it's it's a great layering piece. So I typically wear my turtlenecks underneath my trench coat or like whatever long coat I have. And um, with this particular model that I got today here with me is um, I bought it specifically to be a layering piece. So right now you're probably seeing like the B-roll of this turtleneck. And um, obviously the eye-catching thing is the, um, the zipper, the zipper detail, which is like this circle thing that is synonymous with J.W. Anderson. So, um, J.W. Anderson is not an old brand. Most brands for the like of um, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, Dior, they can rely on their um, branding and logo to be their cash cow because there's heritage, there's history, there's, it's a storied, it's a storied brand. So um, with J.W. Anderson, it doesn't have that heritage status. So, you know, it's relatively young. I believe it started like early 2010s or yeah, something around it. I'll, I'll put it up right here. But um, J.W. Anderson doesn't have that branding where a lot of people know. And I think J.W. Anderson is still relatively young and small, despite how big it may feel to the people who are in the fashion sphere. But excuse me, if you go on the street and you just wear this turtleneck around, not a lot of people are going to notice it. Only the people that are into fashion, that are into menswear and possibly men, I mean women's wear also because you know Jeb U Anderson designed some beautiful beautiful women collection for his namesake brand and the brand that he is spearheading right now which is Loewe. Um, anyway yeah so JW Anderson you know he he can't rely on his logo on its branding because there's not a lot of like um, popularity with them so with this turn it's um it's a great piece because it's it's become synonymous with that brand, the zipper detail, it's synonymous with him. Like for people like me, the moment I see it on the street, I know it right away. Like that's a JW Anderson turtleneck because the, the thing is so iconic to me. And this is one of the reasons why I got it because I've been eyeing this. Um, I mean, in my other video, I already talked about this, but I've been eyeing this particular type of turtleneck from JW Anderson for a long time now, four or five years now. And I finally pulled the trigger. This is not my, this is not the variation that I wanted from JW Anderson, but I got this on a sale, so you know, you just gotta make deal with what you got so far. And now that I've gotten it, I don't feel the itch to get like more because I, I have it, I have it in my possessions. It's like, once you have your grail, when you talk about that grail to your friends, your friends and family, it's like, it's not that special to you anymore because like you have it right there with you or on you. Uh, people who have their grail, I'm sure you know what, I'm sure you agree with me here, right? you know, it's like, for me, like I have the tabby, and you know, a lot of people want tabby, but to me, like now it's just another pair of boots that I own. Like if you have tabbies, I'm sure you, you agree with the sentiment right there, right? It's like you own it, so it doesn't feel as special anymore. But for the, if you're a person who's like, like with the tabby and their wish list for a long time, like they dream about that shoes every day, they dream about what wearing it is like, whereas you and I who own such shoes, it's like, meh, you know, it's just another pair of, pair of boots. But um, let's 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 get back into this turtleneck. So um, let's talk about the material first. So the outer material is technical technical cotton. I I don't like it. It looks like it looks like a gym uniform. It looks like a track suit. It looks like do you know like those Nike track suit like where it's a technical cotton? I'll put a photo up. Like I hate that look. So I'm not particularly a big fan of this 
iteration of this turtleneck that I got, but it'll be a layering piece, so you won't see as much. You'll just see the neck area and the iconic zipper. And um, the inner, the inner is fleece cotton, which I love because as a layering piece for a trench coat, and you know, a trench coat is very lightweight. It doesn't, it's not wool, so most of the time it's cotton. So it's not as insulated. So with a great middle layering piece over your t-shirt, it will keep you very warm. So like the whole neck area all the way down to your, to your, um, you know, your body, it's gonna be very warm. And I love the fact that it's fleece because you know, fleece cotton is just, it's a lot thicker and it's a lot warmer than just regular old cotton. Um, let's move on to the price. So I got this on sale. I got it for around like 150, 170, somewhere around, let's say 200 with tax and shipping and art. So let's just say 200, yeah. And I believe retail on these is like, I think 500, 600. Like I'll put some photos up of like another iteration of this turtleneck, but um, I know the wool version is probably more expensive because wool is more expensive. Cotton is not as expensive. So, you know, this is on the cheaper end of the turtleneck iterations from JW Anderson. All right, so um, sizing. So um, as far as sizing goes, am I recording? If I talk all of this shit, it's not even recording. I'll be really mad. All right. Okay, it is recording. Okay, so I'm sizing. So um, I went through the size on this. I am 172, 173 pounds now. I am five foot ten. I gained a few pounds. I gained a lot of pounds, and I've lost a lot of pounds. But anyway, I'm 172 right now. I'm trying to work my way down to 155, 160. Give me a couple months. I'll go on a strict diet and work out for real. But anyway, I went through the size. I went to I went I went to a size 50, which is a size large US, and you know. I naturally wear my stuff size large unless it's like a hoodie. When it's a hoodie, I'd rather have like an extra large because, you know, it's a hoodie. It's not like you're gonna... A hoodie is just like a comfort type of article of clothing to me. Like, I don't need it to be stylish. I just need it to be comfortable, thick, and warm. And um, with this particular piece, it fits me rather perfectly, which is a bit of a, of a con if I were to wear it like on its own because like, it fits so perfectly, so when you move your arm up and down, front to back, like it's gonna move with you. Maybe I've shown you a B-roll, or I'm gonna show it to you now, but if you don't, I hope you know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, so, but again, like, I'm wearing this, I'm buying this for the purpose of being a layering piece underneath a trench coat, because I think a turtleneck underneath a trench coat is such a classy and timeless look, and if you can do it right, you can modernize the look with the right material and the right color. Like when I think about trench coat, I think about tan color. I don't really acknowledge any other color of trench coat because like when my brain think about trench coat, it's just like, it's tan, it's beige. Any other color, it's just, it looks weird. It's like a red, a red, um, red trench coat. It just look, it looks weird to me. But anyway, so um, yeah, so it fits me very true to side. It fits me great. There's no discomfort. I can move my arm back and forth, up and down. It's not a problem. It just, it moves with you, you know, because it fits so, it's like, it's form fitting. And you know, when I wear it on my own, it looks like I'm wearing a tracksuit, which I hate a lot. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about the pros now. So um, the pros of this is I love the inner material, the, um, the fleece, the fleece cotton material on the inside, because that's gonna be the part where your body is touching it the most. So when you're wearing a t-shirt, the rest of the sleeve, you'll feel the you'll feel the fleece cotton rather than the technical cotton on the outside. So I think that's a plus and you know, it's gonna keep you very warm. It's gonna keep you very insulated. And as a layering piece, it has to do that job. That's its sole purpose, you know, because the trench coat will not provide you with warmthness because the trench coat is just to protect you from the rain and the, the wind and all that. So the inner layer, your hoodie or your turnip, that's where the insulation comes in. And with the fleece cotton, I think it's great. It's doing its job. So, you know, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Obviously, I love the neck detail. I love the zipper detail because it's such an iconic thing to me. And you know, when you sit down, you can just pull the turtleneck up to your mouth to cover it up. And you know, you can just play around with the zipper. I think, I think like taking a photo from this angle, I think it looks so cool. I remember G Dragon, he took a photo like it. I'll put it up if I can find it. But yeah, ever since I saw it, I was like, I gotta have that one day. And I haven't been wearing it a lot, but I can go. 
Let's not get into it. <laughs> I have been wearing it a lot, but I do like this piece. Um, another pro is definitely, it has pockets. Like how crazy is that? A turtleneck with pockets. Like, it's such, it's such a practical thing to have because like, he did need, they did, the team at JWN said didn't need to add pockets, you know? But they did it anyway. So in case, and if you ever need it, you have that options. And if you don't need it, just zip it all the way up. Oh, also there's like a zipper. So like it's more security, so. Come on, what's not to love about practicality? What's not to love about having choices and options? Like, I love it. Okay, this is, <laughs> this might not be the greatest pro, but um, it's a turtleneck, right? And you know, we're still in COVID in the US. We still have to wear masks in certain areas and certain places. And you know, like it's, it's more forgiving here than New York. Whereas New York, if you go to New York, any restaurant, before you enter, you have to present your vaccination card. Whereas in Boston, you just have to wear a mask and some places don't even, do that but you know if you have a turtleneck you can just pull it all the way up and like some place will forgive you for that all right con um the con is definitely the the technical con on the exterior like i hate it i hate it so much it makes me like i'm going to the gym it makes it look like there's like a, a sweatsuit you know it just it looks so weird but i do like the jwa detailing like the embroidered on the chest i think that's a nice detail and um, the pockets, I already talked about, okay, we're talking about comments, so focus on comments. But I think, I think that's about it. I mean, we can also say the price tag is a con, like retail price tag, because, but I think you could say that about any design of pieces. It rarely does a piece, like, rarely do I feel like a piece is justified by its price. I think the only time I ever said that was about the Guidi, but that's because it's horse leather, it's um it's a family owned business whereas jw anderson it's very commercialized you know it's a small brand but it's like it's still a big team you know and um they gotten very big recently because of his work with loewe so you know like his team and you know they're they're designing more um well-known pieces that they can release every year every season so um for example the the dick the dick keychain like it's become very popular so that's one of his signatures, you know? Um, what else, what else on the JW Anderson? Um, the Harry Style, Harry Style, um, what is it, the, the sweater? Like, that became very popular when Harry Style designed it. Uh, JW, JW Anderson even released a video of how to knit it yourself. So that's how big that got. So with that exposure from Harry Style, the brand has only grown bigger and bigger. And you know, what else? What else are they known for? Um, the, the, the collaboration with Converse, you know, um, let's just forget about how it ended. Uh, it ended badly, the relationship, but he designed some iconic pieces and you know, Converse is actively, actively stealing his design and J.B. Anderson is very mad about that, which is completely justifiable. Let's talk styling. Um, if I'm not lazy enough, I will film the styling videos for this and I will include it here. And Unique Low that has gotten JWS a lot bigger because Unique Low has a lot of um, more people more people know about Unique Low than 
than J.W. Anderson. So their, their ongoing collaboration, it has bring a lot of eyes towards J.W. Anderson. And you know, they, they make good pieces. Like I have a few pieces from them, from the collaboration. So there's another one right there. Anyway, yeah, J.W. Anderson, good brand, good person. I really like him as a designer. He's doing amazing work at his namesake brand, J.W. Anderson. And at Loewe, you know, the puzzle bags, I still want it. The fisherman jeans, I still want it. And I know he, I know they released some candles too, but I can't justify spending so much money on candles. I'm not that rich. I wish I was. But yeah, um, he has a lot of things going on, you know, his ongoing collaboration with Uniqlo, a possible reunion with Converse if they ever fix their relationship. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a great piece. I know this review is a bit shorter, but come on. I feel like I've done enough to talk about a fucking turtleneck. This is at, at least eight minutes now. And I'm, I've been talking about one turtleneck. One. One turtleneck. I've seen YouTube videos, I've seen YouTube pickup videos where people have gone through at least 20 items already in eight minutes. And like, they just they literally just hold it up. This is the jacket I got. And then toss it away. Like, appreciate, appreciate this content, baby. Um, I go in depth, in depth, all right? But yeah, um, great piece, great layering piece. I'm gonna wear it often. My name's Makasi. Oh, I wanna say something to you. There's a saying I've been, there's a saying that I've been living by a lot lately and it goes, it's a bad day, not a bad life. I hope you find some comfort in that. We all fight battles that we don't tell other people and especially with um, seasonal depression kicking in because of the daylight saving, it's getting darker. I hope, I hope you realize that, you know, it's, it's a bad day, it's not a bad life. My name's Makasi, thank you for watching. I will see you later.